Hi everyone, my name is Chao Rong, and my student number is 2019712108. Today I would like to introduce my reaction direction and scope. First of all, my research topic is biomass catalytic conversion of living linic acid to gamma valerolactone by using hydrogenous catalyst. My introduction is divided into three parts, which are the introduction, current research content and industry trends. First of all, I will briefly introduce why I study this subject. At present, the problem of global warming has attracted enough attention, but it's still one of the major problems that need to be solved. How to solve global warming and reduce the exploitation of new renewable oil is a test for every researcher. With the over-exploitation of non-renewable oil resource, the environment has become worse and worse. And the over-exploitation of resource is not the concept of sustainable development. The scope of my research is the catalytic conversion of biomass into chemicals or biofuels, a promising approach to achieve carbon neutrality. Due to the impact of fossil fuels on the level of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, the concept of sustainability has driven research and development on the conversion of biomass to energy and chemical production. The two main directions currently are the conversion of biomass into biofuels, such as biodiesel and bioethanols. Biodiesel is produced by decarboxylation or esterification of vegetable oil. The main challenge in the transterification of vegetable oil with methanol or ethanol is to replace the liquid-based catalyst with a hydrogenous catalyst to obtain a higher purity product. The second one is the direction of my research, which is a catalytic conversion from biomass to chemical with added value. Although nat natural sources are very marketable, the cost should not exceed the cost of extracting chemicals from fossil fuels by too much. So this course for, for more efficient biomass processes, especially the need for a flexible catalytic process to cope with the variations. Also, the development of stable and easily regenerated catalysts is one of my research objectives due to the many impurity in natural fat stock. The the scope of my research has a total of three directions, the efficient catalytic conversion of levulinic acid or to gamma valerolactone, the conversion of lactic acid to acrylic acid, and the third reaction is the efficient catalytic conversion of fructose to dehydroxyacetone as a substrate to mesolactite. As the demand for lactic acid and various lactic acids alkali esters in increasing is increasing every year in recent years. These reactions are also becoming more and more visible to the general public. And they all start from the biomass to generate different chemical molecules with high added value. The aim of my research is to select the most suitable catalytic route through the characteristics of each reaction itself. Taking advantage of the ease of separation of hydrogenous catalyst and to provide as high a selectivity and a conversion as possible using stable and easily regenerated catalyst. So for the from the uh, levulinic acid to gamma valerolactone, levulinic acid has received a lot of attention over the years as a raw materials and it can be converted into valuable valuable chemicals. And there have been some reports on the use of multi-phase catalysts to prepare levulinic acid, such as the conversion of glucose to levulinic acid on acidic zeolite, and the hyd hydrolysis of cellulose to glucose and levulinic acid by using the solid-loaded acid catalyst. However, more attention has been paid to my recent current line of research, which is to obtain gamma valerolactone from levulinic acid by hydrogenation. During the unique physical and chemical properties of the G GVL, it is widely used as a green solvent and chemical intermediate. Of course, many researchers have done many experiments, 
I try to use the solvent directly as an hydrogen contributor without adding hydrogen in my substitute experiments. So this can be done more environmentally friendly. So bioenergy involves the use of the biological materials for energy purpose. Industry use of biomass for heat production is primary in bio-based in in industries such as paper and board, sugar and other food products and wood-based industries. Bioenergy is not yet widely used in other industries. However, biomass and waste fuels met around 6% of the common industry global energy needs in the 2019. In Europe, these fuels pro provided around 25% of the energy use in common making in 2019. The use of the biomass and waste fuels for common productions in China is also growing. Biomass can produce heat for spacing heat in buildings through the burning of wood logs, chips, or pellets produced from the wood. The informal use of wood and other biomass to heat individual residents is prevalent in development economics as well as in developing and emergency ones. Thank you.